What's up y'all, it's Hayes, and we're back for another video. Uh, today we are looking at Goldango and how to use him in competitive Pokemon. Uh, now you guys absolutely killed the light goal uh, on the last video. Um, I wanted 15 for another one, and you guys hit almost 50, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, so for this time, uh, we're going to go for 25 likes for another one. Um, be sure to comment and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, what mon you would like me to do next. And uh, help me reach my goal of 100 by the end of the year. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into how to use Goldango in competitive Pokemon. Now, first off, uh, let's take a look at its typing. So Goldengo has the Ghost and Steel typing. Um, this is a very, very good combination. Uh, gives it three immunities to normal, fighting, and poison, as well as an array of different resistances uh, that help it phenomenally. Um, you can look at all of those on screen now. Flying, Rock, Bug, Steel, Grass, Psychic, Ice, Dragon, Fairy. Um, with only four weaknesses to Ground, Ghost, Fire, and Dark. Uh, now, this is a very resistant lane typing, uh, which allows Goldengo to kind of position around a lot of things. Um, and while, as you can see with its stats, um, it, it's not that bulky. Um, it's mostly a special attacker with that base 133 special attack stat. However, it's bulky enough to um, take resisted hits, take repeated resisted hits for that matter, um, and serve as a nice kind of buffer to certain uh, things on your opponent's team. Uh, now, as we mentioned with that 133 base special attack, this thing uh, has an absolutely lethal, uh, is absolutely lethal as a special attacker. Um, the only kind of negative with this is that kind of lackluster base 84 speed, um, which isn't outspeeding too much, but with its um, ability, kind of move pool, all of that, it can totally get around, uh, get around that weakness. Uh, so its ability, uh, good as gold, um, this means that Goldengo is immune to all status moves. So what does this mean for it? Uh, so Goldengo, uh, blocks defog for one, blocks setting up hazards, and blocks, um, like basic status like Thunder Wave and Will-O-Wisp. Um, so this allows it to act as a very good stop to hazard strategies as it is immune to uh, immune to the rapid spin and also defog. Um, and this is just phenomenal. Um, allows it to act as a good buffer to these hazard lane uh, playstyles that we've seen a lot in Gen 9. And yeah, um, so for its notable moves, um, it gets Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, Hex, good stab moves, but it also gets Make It Rain, which is a base 120 power steel type move that lowers your attack by one stage. Um, so this makes Goldengo a good steel special attacker as it doesn't have to rely on the relatively weak Flash Cannon. Um, in addition, it gets good coverage moves. Focus Blast can help hit normals and darks that might threaten it. Um, Dazzling, Dazzling Gleam does the same thing, but it's uh, kind of lesser, um, and a, but a more accurate, like less risky option than Focus Blast. Um, Power Gem can kind of help with those flying types. Uh, same thing with Thunderbolt, um, kind of beat those uh, beat down those flying types. Power Gem also helps with fire types. Um, Second Concise Shot can break through kind of bulky poisons, fightings. Um, and then it gets Nasty Plot, which is great on a set like this. Um, you can run kind of good subsets that are immune to um, status, rapid spin. You can kind of sub on a lot of things since they can't really touch you. Sub on like bulky, bulky walls. Um, Recover kind of goes with that to kind of stay around. Um, Recover is like a lot less prominent in this generation with only the 8 PP. But it's still good on this on a, a mod like this, a mod like Goldengo. Uh, and Trick, uh, Trick gives it that option on like choice sets to kind of mess with those bulky walls um, and just make them worse against like the rest of your team, for example. Uh, so in terms of pairings, uh, one that I thought seemed really good uh, was Roaring Moon. Um, so Roaring Moon, um, Roaring, Mo Roaring Moon uh, can help 
So Goldengo, um, as you can see with that base 120 uh, steel special move, um, really has a good time uh, dealing with fairies for Roaring Moon, which is very weak to fairies and does not really want to um, be against fairies. Um, and breaking uh, those fairies for Roaring Moon allows Roaring Moon to go absolutely insane with its setup sets, with booster energy sets, etc, etc. Um, yeah. Um, additionally, um, Goldengo also acts as a hazard like remover for, or not a hazard remover, um, a hazard blocker. Um, as it or uh, it blocks um, deflog attempts, uh, allowing like something like Roaring Moon to um, be more lethal um, in uh, like addition to like hazard damage that the opponent's taking uh, every turn. Um, now, on that note, we have Glamora. Uh, now, Glamora is one of the best uh, hazard setters in the game with its Toxic Debris ability that sets T-Spikes um, every time your opponent hits you. Um, so this thing's getting minimum um, a layer of rocks, maybe spikes, and one to two layers of T-Spikes every game. And Goldengo is very prominent as a rapid spin and defog blocker which helps Clamora so so much allowing its hazards to stay there for a long time and makes everything uh everything on this team uh, even goldango uh really strong uh with your opponent taking that hazard damage that they're not going to be able to remove uh next we have great tusk now great tusk uh helps with the normals and the darks that kind of give Goldengo problems. Um, Goldengo does have options to deal with those, however, um, it's always better to not limit yourself and have something that can take those on for you to kind of open up different sets that can win, like sub nasty plot sets, um, the air balloon set that can block uh, rapid spin from the uh, Dom fan, switch back in, etc. Um, yeah, great, uh, great Tusk, very, very strong Pokemon. Um, also kind of takes advantage of Goldengo blocking hazards for sure to just become that much more lethal. Uh, so now let's get into some sets for Goldengo. So first off we have a Choice Scarf set, uh, 4 coverage moves, max speed, max special attack. Very simple, uh, Terra Fighting gives it a strong accurate, uh, emphasis on accurate, um, move to hit those normals and darks that might give it problems. Um, but yeah. Uh, just a generally strong uh, revenge killer, strong like uh, speed control option with that 133 speed and the choice scarf. Shadow Ball and Make It Rain are doing pretty solid damage to everything. Um, and the coverage moves can be whatever you want. You could be Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt or something, Power uh, power Gem, Focus Blast, etc. Um, and you can make your Terra type... Um, pretty much anything you want. Terra type fighting gives it that Terra Blast option, but you could also go uh, Ghost or Steel to make your stab options stronger. Um, same kind of thing with specs. Um, I kind of put Trick on this um, as a way to cripple those walls and uh, remove its item and make it choice, make them less um, like less helpful against the rest of your team. Um, and Specs is also really strong because you're just hitting those amazing stab options. The stab combination of a strong steel type move and make it rain and shadow ball is just amazing. You also have focus blast to break through those darks and normals that might want to switch in uh, to try to take you on. Uh, again, your terra type can be anything. Um, I kind of want one of the stab options because with this set I'm not going to uh, be wanting to really hit anything else for the most part. Um, just power up your strong uh, your stab options to make them as strong as possible. Uh, next, we have a leftovers nasty plot recover set. Um, yeah, so this set um, can kind of beat like set up on kind of feather Pokemon. Uh, Terra flying uh, makes it immune to ground, so those uh, the Don fan forms um, especially uh, are very prominent, and you can do Terra type flying to kind of mess with them. Um, yeah, uh, I can take a setup opportunity or you can kind of take that as an opportunity to change what could be a bad matchup into a favorable matchup and break and uh, break through the rest of your opponent's team. Uh, simple as that. Uh, next we have the air balloon set. So I think I mentioned before about 
This coming in on the Don Fan Forums blocking spin uh, as a means of removing hazards, and it's also immune to defog. Um, so the most uh, prominent rapid spinners are the Don Fan Forums, and this allows you to switch in on an earthquake potentially. Um, however, the only problem with this is uh, knockoff. Uh, they can be throwing knockoffs around. Um, but yeah, uh, in addition to this, substitute helps you, um, allows you to, you can uh, set up a substitute on a lot of things, force them out, and get a free turn to just click a button, simply. Uh, recover helps you stay healthy and make more substitutes, um, stay around the game longer, uh, get off big attacks, and yeah. Uh, that's Goldengo. Um, I'm really excited to see how this thing does. I believe it was already suspect tested in OU. Um, it acts as a really, really strong glue piece to some of, to allow some of these um, amazing threats. Roaring Moon, I mentioned, something like Chen Pao, uh, Fluttermane, etc. All of these things that are amazingly strong and just get that much stronger um, by the uh, the ability to kind of keep hazards around for as long as possible. Um, to make, force your opponent to take all this hazard ship and also have to deal with these absolutely lethal threat threats. Um, but this thing's also a threat on itself. Like, you don't want to switch into these attacks ever. Um, so yeah, uh, that's going to do it for us. Um, this has been a guide on how to use Goldengo in competitive Pokemon. Again, uh, if you like the video, please consider dropping a like. Um, consider subscribing as I'm going to do these, do some Wi-Fi battles, all that. Um, but yeah, um, that's going to do it for me today, and peace.